1985, the fifth feature from Austin-based writer-director Yen Dan, is a low-budget film with a high emotional resonance. Tan, whose 2013 feature Pit Stop was nominated for an Independent Spirit Award, developed 1985 from his Tinder short of the same name, where a man with HIV hires a makeup artist to help him prepare to visit his mother. This feature-length iteration of the story extends its exploration of grief, shame and grace, following a still-closeted version of this man as he returns to his childhood home to see his family for what may be the last time. It's Christmas, 1985, and Adrian, Corey Michael Smith, lands in Fort Worth from New York City after a three-year absence. He is met at the airport by his father Dale, Michael Chiklis, a reserved Vietnam veteran who drives a truck with a Reagan bumper sticker and struggles to relax around his white-collar son. At home, Adrian's mother Eileen, Virginia Madsen, is overjoyed to see him and anxious to please, while his much younger brother Andrew, Aidan Langford, is prickly and resentful. The days pass in a quiet routine of meals, grocery trips and church. The town's religiousness appears in flashes, this is a place where pastors burn cassettes of secular music and the high school bully has been reborn as a repentant supermarket manager, clad in a Christmas sweater and bearing pumpkin pie. Gradually, Andrew warms to Adrian and, through his teenage eyes, we begin to see what Adrian's childhood might have been like. Andrew loves Madonna and has recently traded the football team for the drama club, much to Dale's displeasure. Together, the brothers go to the movies and the record store and Adrian offers Andrew a glimpse of the world beyond the confines of the town. Adrian cultivates an appearance of easy success, but as he grapples with if and how to tell the truth, it becomes apparent that he describes his life to his parents in a way that intends to spare them disappointment and shame. He invents a promotion, spends all his money on exorbitant Christmas gifts, and dismisses a nasty cough as the after-effect of a cold. Coming out in the early stages of HIV is harder than he expects. He can't even tell his ex-girlfriend, the kind and open Carly, Jamie Chung, why he hasn't contacted her for three years. Nineteen eighty five's exploration of the possibility and potential effects of not saying something is one of its most powerful aspects, and the way in which it most differs from earlier films about the AIDS crisis. Freed from the urgency of educating audiences about an experience that was widely feared and misunderstood, Tan swaps the chaotic, communal energy that marks films like An Early Frost. 1985, and a longtime companion, 1989, for a slow burn focus on the individual discomfort of running out of time. As both of his parents reveal surprising parts of their own inner lives, Adrian finds himself holding his secret ever tighter. It is to Carly that he finally opens up, and there is the sense that her similarly outsider status, she is a Korean-American woman in a place where racism is the norm, 
makes this possible. Ten and cinematographer Hutch, who is also credited as a producer and co-editor, chose to shoot on stark black and white 16mm to give the film a timeless quality. This contemporary sensibility is upheld in the open, unfussy framings, the understated acting style and the easy pace at which things unfold. Most of the scenes are staged between Adrian and one other person, and this decision to draw out the intimacy of the pair in the frame accentuates the poignancy of things not said. Ten is active in the Lubki community and the Austin independent film scene in 1985 feels deeply rooted in both worlds. It manages to evoke the past with specificity and while feeling contemporary enough to have broad appeal. Haven't we all held secrets in the hope of sparing others pain? How many of us have held fixed notions about our parents that blind us to their capacity for love? With its rich black and white contrasts, 1985 offers Adrian a moment of grace, transforming his distress into an image of fleeting beauty.